Okay, shall we get started? Sure. Yeah, I know you're ready. Okay, so for card one, let me, um, there we go. Now I can see what's going on. You guys should have cut your materials already. Got a dog running around in the background here. I don't know if you can hear him. <laughs> here we go, clue one. Score the colored card stock at 5.2 centimeters and 5.8 centimeters, or two and an eighth and six and three eighths. We're making a gatefold. So is it, which, which why are we scoring it though? Which side? Uh, it's a portrait card. Side? It's a Pardon? portrait card. The card is portrait. Yep, so that way. Yeah. So we're scoring on the short side. Yes. Uh, no, you're scoring on the long side. Okay. To make a gate fold portrait card. Okay. The dog has decided to have zoomies. Yeah. So is there supposed to be a little bit of an overlap? No. Oh. It's really okay, supposed I'm to just be a gatefold card. Okay, I'm working off of letter size eight and a half by 11. Yeah, so. So two and an eighth and six and three eighths gives me about just over a quarter inch overlap. Really? Yeah. Well, I apologize for that, My Okay. Uh, my fluency in inches is apparently suffering. <laughs> You've seen the light. Yeah. I think every day I think, why didn't the U.S. switch to metric when we had the chance? Someone probably thought it was a good idea to stay. Uh, yeah, and I can get into a whole list of theories that I have. But Isn't all these scientific there. things in metric anyway? So it's Sorry? That isn't all the scientific things like medical and that, that's all in metric. Uh, in here in Canada, but the paper is still eight and a half by 11. Yeah, the medical yeah. stuff. It, it, yeah, the scientific stuff's all metric. Yeah. Yes and no. Um, they have some, like, like I know the units that they use to measure like blood sugar for diabetes, they use a different one in the U.S. to what we use here. And, but, but yes, most things are done in grams and, and such, but. Okay, everyone ready? Yep. yep. Okay, clue number two. Add the DSP pieces that measure five by 14.4 centimeters or two by five and a quarter inches to the two front panels of the card base with flat adhesive. For me, that's liquid glue. If you like steel or steel plus, that's up to you.
Okay. Clue number three. Add the two remaining DSP layers to the two colored cardstock layers with flat adhesive. So those are the ones that you have separate from yeah. your card base. Good morning, Michelle. Hello, I didn't realize I wasn't muted. Um, sorry, I will mute. I didn't well, pre-cut everything, so I'm on a mad dash to cut and do and everything, but I'll catch up. Okay. Um, I, if you wanted to, you could uh, do your cutting for the for card number two, and then you wouldn't be in a mad dash, and then you can swing back on the replay and, and do card one. Um, it's up to you. Great idea. Thank you. Yep. Okay, are we ready for clue four? Yep. Yep. Okay. Place the two colored cardstock and DSP layers on the front of your card. Don't adhere them yet. Just place them where you like them. And then clue number five, add one of the colored cardstock DSP layers to the left panel with flat adhesive. Be sure to only adhere on the left side. And I'm gonna go ahead and give you clue number six because you're gonna do the same thing on the right side. These ones supposed to be going wide sides across the card. I think that's the only way you can get both of them on. Yeah. Without overlapping. Yeah, I've cut my paper wrong. Yeah, me too. <laughs> uh -oh. that, would be, that would be me too. I wonder if I... Yeah, it didn't say landscape, but it should have said landscape. Right, because I said it was a portrait card. Yeah, we did it all portrait. It's all right. We just didn't. We can just recap. Not a problem. I will just quickly turn it. Sorry. Don't You're worry. just making sure we're awake on a Saturday morning. That's all. Mm. It's just so nice to be crafting and actually making and creating without knowing what you're doing. It's fun. Oh, good. <laughs> Some people find it very stressful. And so they try it and they don't come back. Only when it goes wrong. Well, you know, I... Oh, well, it's only my first one, Nancy. I might not be um, too good on the second <laughs> card. I'm still cutting step two on card two. Okay. Yeah, I did do a little bit of quilting before I got into paper crafting. And I just remind myself every time, paper is so much cheaper to mess up on than fabric for quilts. 
I think yeah. card making is a lot easier than quilting. Quilting, quilting does my head in. Well, I've been quilting all day today. Yeah, it's a bit, a bit hard for me. I've been sewing for so many years. It's just kind of fun. It's fun, but I find that getting the pieces right on the quilting is just too much for my little brain. <laughs> So give a shout when you're ready to move on because I'm giving I'm you good. time to. I know other people had to recut, so. Sorry. No, no. Um, cut number one. Okay, I'm good. You ready? Okay, so number seven, adhere the base white layer to the inside of your card with flat adhesive. Hopefully that should be easy. How many mystery stampings do you reckon you've done over the course of your crafting career, Nancy? Um... Maybe about 15. I'm not even sure it's that many yet. Did you start in the US or here? No, I started here and I, I started well after COVID started. I'm sorry. Hello? Yes. Yeah. Right. Did you have a did you have a walker with her? Oh good. Uh -huh. Okay. Yep. Ooh, ooh, number eight, stamp a sentiment on the basic white scrap and cut it out with the tool of your choice and then create a map with your colored card stock and adhere them together.
Hey, Allison, I um, I muted you when you got your phone call, so you'll need to. Sorry. Um, no, no. No, my mum's been a fall. They ring me whenever anything happens, so. Uh-oh, is she okay? Yeah, yeah, she was just sitting on a bum in the bathroom. Luckily, she didn't hit her head this time. Oh, good. Sorry. So um, after the white on the inside, is it clue number eight? Yes. Hello. I'm good. My husband's been out all day and he's on his way home. Yay. Yay. And you've got him well trained to call and see if there's anything he should do or pick up, right? <laughs> yep. 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 Mine's away for a month. It's heaven. <laughs> <laughs> he's on holidays with my eldest son. They've gone up to <laughs> the Cape, Cape York. Mm. Uh, that's for the people who aren't in Australia the, the nearly the top of Australia the pointy end in Queensland what are they <laughs> spending their time doing um they fishing gone, no 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 they haven't gone coastal yet they've gone sort of country way they're at Mount Isa at the moment and they, they're traveling up 
they've, they've gone and seen that there's a triangle of dinosaur fossils. So they've gone and saw those. Nice. Um, yeah, they, they, they had to travel 200, uh, 2,000 kilometres to get away from the rain. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, so they've got nice... My friends live in Queensland and they've been bitching and complaining about the weather lately. Yeah, this is um, far north Queensland, so it's not like Brisbane or anything. It's it's further up. Um, Way further up. Yeah, they're right in the tropics now, so they're nice and warm and camping. They're camping and four-wheel driving. That's what they're doing. Uh, good on them. That's why I've stayed home. I've yeah. Been... <laughs> I don't blame you. <clears throat> Oh, well, plus my daughter and her partner and the dog, I've missed my baby. Um, they moved out last Friday, so I'm, I've got the house to myself. So oh, I'm, lovely. I'm doing a huge clean-up because they've left, you know, a lot of junk. And that's uh, hopefully my daughter will turn up today to go through the rest of it or it's going to be thrown out. <laughs> and at the moment my house stinks because I'm um, resealing the slate. Oh. Mm. Yeah, I have to do that because my husband's an asthmatic, so it's a good time to do it while he's away. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and and to get all the fur off out of everything, so it's good because um the dog was a golden retriever. It is a golden retriever, not was a golden retriever, but yeah, lots of hair. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to pop two number nine up here now. Yep. Yep. Cool. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know when my house will ever be for free again. Oh. Um, add the sentiment layers to the card front on one of the DSP panels with dimensionals. That would be one of the crossways. Yep. Cool. DSP panels. So this is the first time I've been in the craft room. I have to get back into it this week. Yeah, I, I don't think you'll ever have a fur-free house until you no longer have a dog. I think that's or a cat. Cat. <laughs> yeah, or a cat. I've got two cavaliers. I don't think I'll ever be fur free. Yeah. Oh, he comes to be so you know. They're such beautiful animals, though. Yeah. yeah. I'm babysitting him on I call it babysitting. I babysat him on Thursday and I'm babysitting him on Friday. He doesn't like to be home alone by himself. If I ever so, go back to having miniature poodles like I did in the States. I'll be mm. fur free again. Yeah, I don't know how my daughter copes actually. She, it's her dog and um, she's the one wanted, but she's allergic to him. She's allergic to dog oh. to fur. Oh so, no. And all my all my family are allergic there, except for me. I'm the I'm the tough one family. The others are weakies. So I don't know what happened. Must be my husband's genes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I have a lot of trouble with golden fur, but I seem to do fine with the labs. So mm. oh, he shakes, and you can see the fur flying off everywhere. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, we we don't have cavalier fur on our clothing. We have cavalier glitter. Yes. Uh, yeah. No, I just wear a coat. I have a white coat on me. <laughs> it's, it's more than just a little bit of fur. If he's come, <laughs> it's covered head to toe. Especially if I've got black on, like you just yep. yeah, I can't okay. Clue, clue yep. ten: stamp an image on basic white scrap and cut it out. Add it to the other panel with adhesive or dimensionals. I saw that Dana um, Rico, she, uh -huh. lost her, she lost her golden retriever for a couple of days. Oh, no. Yeah, fireworks sort of scared oh. her. Oh, yeah. yeah. But, you know, she was so lucky she got it returned. Yeah, yeah. microchipping. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'd be really upset. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Hunter's microchipped. 
fortunately, well, Noah's now my third or fourth dog, depending on how you classify my daughter's service dog. But um, none of them have been upset by thunder or fireworks at all. Well, apparently it they were just it was still daylight or something, and obviously it was off lead, and someone someone's let fireworks off, and it's just freaked and ran away. Oh no! So, yeah. So. Yeah. Like no, will perk his head up if we've got. Well, we don't get much thunder here, but when we do, he perks his head up. But we've mm. had fireworks. And he's not paid any attention. You have a lot of noise in the city, don't you? Yes. So with all the buildings. So he's probably used to that sort of, you know, the hammering and. Oh, yes. That hammering. <laughs> and, yes, <okay>. we know. <laughs> all those things. So he's probably sort of um, often had to toughen up. <laughs> yes. Yes. We, we do call him um, our bomb proof city dog. Buses and trams don't freak him out at all. Yeah, well, that's good. Yeah, he has a sook sometimes when we don't take him on the tram anymore. Yeah, uh, especially when he was used to doing it mm -hmm. beforehand. He probably under, doesn't understand why he can't do it now. Yep. And we do have a couple of shops that welcome him in, so he's happy about that. <laughs> they're, they're people pleasers, aren't they? They love to help, you know, make people. He certainly is, which is why he didn't make a good seeing eye dog. <laughs> yeah. Not that he didn't want to please people, but he, he by doing his stuff, but he just, he just wanted love from everybody way too much. Yeah, he wanted the attention. How are we doing? Kidding me. Yeah, kidding me. Okay. Yep, nearly there. All good. Yeah, our, our dogs love a trip to the um, pet store or to Bunnings. They love going to both of those. They just get love everywhere when they go there. It's nice, you know, because people, you know, a lot of people are frightened of dogs and things like that. So. Yeah. Oh, my, my two love the fact they can sit in the trolley at Bunnings and so they're right mm -hmm. at people's height for lots of love and attention. Of course, they get no attention at home, do they? You know. <laughs> no, they're just totally ignored. <laughs> there's, there's usually one sitting under my desk while I'm crafting, but I'm not the only one home today. And there's noise being made in the kitchen. They think they might oh. do something. Yeah, kitchen noises take precedence. Yes. I had to go and rescue my son's rubbish bin because he was next door in my son's bedroom going through the rubbish bin and eating whatever he could find. <laughs> There's yes. dead tissues all over, screwed up and eaten all over the floor. Luckily my son was in the in the bathroom and didn't know. My girls learnt very quickly that um the pizza they thought they could sneak in and hide from me because they're not supposed to eat upstairs. They um they didn't hide very well when the dog came down with their leftover pizza the next morning, I went. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What sort of pizza? Um, I don't actually know. Knowing my daughters, it probably would have just been the cheese pizza. But yes, not something the dogs needed to be eating. Mm. No, but they do. I probably thought they did. Oh, if it's human food, it's theirs. My cats are like that. Human food is their favorite. It's like, okay, you're eating, so 
you're going to share now. Kind of slow getting my hands to work today. Okay. Yeah, I have days like that. Okay. Oh. Misty today is because it's mystery stamping. You never quite know what you're going to be creating, and I didn't. Right. And I didn't pick quite the right. I had in my head what I was going to use, and didn't think about the fact the stamp set didn't have a sentiment or anything like that. It's, so the last clue is to add embellishments if you need them. So when you are ready to show what you have made, let me know and I will spotlight you. I can't wait to see what you've all made. <laughs> I've cut out one and two now. So Nancy, I'll go back and watch it on YouTube, I gather. Or on yes. Kylie's page. No, not on Kylie's page. I'll um okay. it, yes, it will be on, on YouTube uh this probably early this afternoon. Okay. Um I didn't realise it was open to anyone until I went back to um open the um Zoom link just this morning and went, Oh, I could have invited my friend Monica. She's also in my group. Yeah, yep. Open to anybody. Um, that's awesome. I'll do another one probably next month. Okay, that's all. Yeah, it's my first one, so it's been really good. Well, I haven't made anything <laughs> yet, girls. <laughs> but I haven't nice got thing a lot of new stuff yet because I moved house and then um, I've, been, I've been diagnosed with breast cancer, so I have sort of not been focused on this until I realised it gives me joy. And um, so now it's sort of like a time to make stuff, but I won't have probably all the new stuff that you're making things with. Yeah, I, I often do this with retired stuff okay. um, and, and I am happy for people to use whatever they've got. Um, it's, it's fun to do it with where you're not worried about what you're crafting with. Yeah. And then part of my goal is to give you now card layouts that you can yes. use and reuse and get ideas to, to keep using them. So yeah, that's exactly what I learned from Kylie's, um, one on I didn't watch it live on Friday I um, watched it last night and kept pausing it and kept going back but I used the retired set that I'm going to use today but I didn't I never bought the actual matching I bought the DSP the ink colors the in colors I'll put my video on I bought the DSP the ink colors the di um, all the cardstock colors that matched the incoming colors but I didn't buy the stamp set the, to match the DSP it happens. Uh, all right, well done. <laughs> We've all done stuff like that. Okay, so Allison's ready to show us. Oh, Let me cool. Get you spotlight. Replace spotlight. There we go. All right, so. Oh, wow. I'm not that's... sure if you can see. I've got gold there. <laughs> and the little, you know, those pebbles that were in with the seaside thing? Yes, yes. I just stamped inside. Nice. Oh, Allison, that's, that's amazing. Beautiful. And that's cool. two lots of ribbon behind the. That's from the waves. Um, yes. Dies. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. Yeah. So I used the somewhere here. The little um, tag thing, banner. Here oh, we that's go. Pretty. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I stole that's that idea of somewhere else. Yeah, it that's a new with the ribbon through it. I like it. That's really nice. Cool. Anybody I'm else ready? ready? Yeah, I am. Okay, Lorraine, let me replace spot. And I'm doing seriously outdated stuff. Pretty. Is, uh, yeah, that's, that's okay. okay. Tempting turquoise. <laughs> yeah. But I'm the using color. it with a, a more current um, stamp. The stamp was, well, no, not more current. Inspiring Iris, so I don't remember when that's from. Goes nice with, is that Tahitian tied metallic ribbon? Yeah, the ribbon is Tahitian tied. Nice. And then the the dots were the iridescent pearls. So yeah, just using up old stuff. Good. But I actually had the the ink from tempting turquoise, and that worked. So that's what I used. Yeah, it's lovely. Fantastic. Thank you. Anybody else ready? Yep. Yeah. 
Whenever. Okay, let's go to Amanda. Yeah, whenever. Please spotlight. I was trying. Oh. To, I was trying to use the new celebration things. I hadn't used it, and I wanted some samples. Yeah. And it, but then, of course, I didn't quite think about you know, sentiments. I've also just stamped. So I've used the um, what's it called? Amazing phrases for the sentiment. Yeah. To well, that's good because that's celebration too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I just coloured in the diamantes. I always yeah. use them in whatever colour. So, you I just colour that too. on the sheet and then add the diamante after you've coloured it. Yeah, that's um. Yeah. There's a couple I've done in. Oh yeah. Other colours. Yeah. Thank you. you. I've you heard Carly I've... talk about that. Yeah, but I if you use the blends, it's better than the markers. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, because the blends are the alcohol ink and they'll yeah. they'll dry instantly and permanently. And the yes, the stamp and write markers, it, it doesn't stay on. <laughs> no. And it ends okay. Up yes. So who's left? Me? Cheryl? Yep, I'm ready. Okay, let me replace spotlight. There we go. Ooh. Oh, These are lovely. It's lovely. Oh. Is that that a um a wash with no, it's the other one, isn't it? It's yeah, a wash beauty. Of beauty. A wash. Yeah, it is. That's it's beautiful. Beauty, that's on, beauty, the stamp set. Yeah. Yeah, that, that that's on my wish list. That's beautiful. Very nice. Did I get everyone? You must. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna um show you mine. Very nice. Oh, wow. Oh, like that. That's spectacular. Well, yeah. remember, I know what I'm creating and I, I don't have any time pressure when I do <laughs> wow. that. So, so mine's just plain, color just those plain in. inside. Did you hand color those? Uh, yes. In fact, it is, um, I stamped one in Night of Navy and then I did others where I just colored the flowers and stamped them and cut I cut them out so they're paper pieced. Yeah. Wow. Pretty. And I like that the petal makes a lock for the gate. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, it does. Wasn't deliberate that way. It just happened that <laughs> way, but yes. <laughs> so, yeah. And then this is that, um, what's it called? That's the linen the, one. That's the Charming beautiful. Sentiments. Oh yes. Ah. That has that has the coordinating dies. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's is that Lisa's one? Yes, Lisa Curcios. Yeah, I've I've just got that. God knows where it is, but yeah. And um yeah, so I just cut a second a second one of them without stamping it <laughs> and then snipped it, you know, lengthwise and mm -hmm. mounted it behind for my mat. What catalogue is that one from? I haven't seen that. That is from the new annual catalog. Oh, how did I not see that? Um, okay, because, I'll go back. Because it's, it's only sentiments, so it doesn't really stand out. Yeah, and it's got dyes with, oh, yeah, the dyes yeah. too. Yeah, so the dyes are really good because they cut out. Birthday candles. Most of them cut out, well, there's a dye <laughs> for every sentiment. Yeah. And then there's some other, there's like birthday candles and some other um, mm. little graphic ones that don't have stamps, but that's okay. Yeah. Okay. Are we ready for card two? Hang on. I'm still looking for that set. That's amazing. Page 38. Thank you. If I've got the, yeah, page 38. Okay. Wow. Thank you, ladies. Page 38. I'm writing it down because we need to start. <laughs> <laughs> okay and i'm probably going to be really slow sorry in advance that's okay Ooh. you're not the only one no well i think i've cut everything right for this card now so me too hope so <laughs> okay so here we go clue number one Use your embossing folder and put all four of the small pieces of cardstock or foil oh, in it. I use Demonte paper. Use you can, your embossing folder, please. You can still emboss that. 
Although you may not want to. You can leave that one out. <laughs> yeah, my daddy got one, boss. Hmm. I missed the instructions for the second one, so bear with me a minute while I catch up. When do you deem a tombo absolutely empty? When I shake it several times and I still can't get anything to come out. <laughs> and I, I store mine upside down, ready to go. Yeah, mm -hmm. me too. I made, I found a um, 3D printer um, stamping up holder in lockdown. I'll show you. Yeah. So somebody gave me one. Oh, yeah, me too. Um, well, I made it, yeah. So let me know if you need one because I'm at a school. Yeah, what I found was that my tip clogs up more with this. Uh -huh. If I, well, <laughs> in here, the, the clog gets stuck to the bottom of the cup <laughs> and pulls free when I pull it out. So um, it's not that it clogs up more, I suppose that I have to clear the clog myself more. And so my little espresso cups, I just run them through the dishwasher every once in a while and that gets all the dry glue out. But yeah, the the 3D printed ones are pretty cool. Yeah. Are you guys thinking of coming to Sydney for the end of um What's it called? Um, on stage? Yes. Who said yes? Amanda. Yes, oh, yes. Good, good. I'm actually thinking that I'm going to go to Perth. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a long way to go. Yeah, Glenn and I want to go to Perth. We've oh, okay. Fair enough. We've Perth. never been. He's got yes. cousins who live in the Perth area. Mm -hmm. so it's very pretty. Yeah. That might be a nice opportunity to to mm. do that well i'm going to sydney so i can um fly back with my in-laws because my husband has a significant birthday party that weekend that oh, they okay. have to come back with me for there you mm. go and i could see my family too but there's not going to be enough time i don't think okay you ready for clue two yep and here the designer series paper to the colored cardstock base or flat adhesive. So you, yeah, the directions were to score your cardstock in half to make a card base. Okay. And now you're adding your DSP layer. Okay. Adhere DSP. Oh yeah, okay, that's, is this one a little bit easier? Yes. Oh, good. <laughs> way to way to go for me. I think it took me about three hours last night to do Kylie's video. Wow! The more uh, cards you, the more cards you make, the faster and easier it will get. Yeah, true. That's definitely true. Definitely. Plus, I was ad living with set, um, sets and DSP that I did, I had to go like plan and think and. Creative. Yeah, 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 exactly. Okay, clue three. 
Take the three smaller embossed pieces of cardstock or foil and snip one end of each to form a banner tail, not the 2.5 by 10 centimeter or one by four inch piece. Hmm. So if you have, if you have the banners pick a punch, yeah. that works perfectly hmm. to make your banner end. Not the one by four or the, okay. But the other three, okay. Yep, the three smaller ones. Two All right, I can do that. Do you guys know the trick for making a very even? No. Banner end. So you snip up in the middle of your piece to where you want your the bottom of your V to be. Yep. That does and then work you go well. from corner. to corner from the you corner. You just eyeball that? You don't gray lead pencil it? You're just eyeballing it? I'm eyeballing it, but yes, I used to always put a pencil mark to make, especially to make the middle point, but you know, because I don't care, it came out perfectly this time. <laughs> when it's, when I feel like, oh my gosh, I need to get it just right. It is always cockeyed, but. So use that punch a lot. Yes. Is that punch still in the catalog? Yes. Okay. Something and else the, to buy. Yep. Yeah, so if you're doing there's it with, always something with else the punch, to buy. yes, there's always something else to buy. <laughs> so when you're doing it with the punch, even if you've got it cut exactly right so it fits within the guides on this mm -hmm. side. I still recommend that you turn it over oh. and look at the back yep. to make sure you've got it lined up evenly because it will, I don't know if you can see, it does it's move wobbling. around. Yeah. Thank and you. then. Okay, so that's called a banner tail. Yeah, or fish tail. Or I can't remember other things that we've called it. Okay, so did you get all three of those? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, add the three banners to the top left of your card front by overlapping them a little. Use liquid glue so they don't pop up. I think seal or tear and tape would work. Seal I think is too likely to just pop off. Add the three banners to the top left of your card. Yeah. So beside each other? Yeah, so I'm just going to bring in a couple of pieces of scrap here. So like that, like that. So these are the three that we've just made? Yes, the three with the, the banner tails. And they're going to be hanging up that high? Yep, top left. So equal to the top, add the three banners to the top left of your card front by overlapping them a little. So they need to be straight at the top? You know, however you like them up in this corner. You know, obviously mine are too long okay. there. Okay, that was my question. Uh, right, right. To okay. figure out I'm just why pulling. they're hanging off two or three inches, yeah. Yeah, that's why, because they're too long. Yeah, I just pulled scrap out so of my. Is the third one longer than the rest? Have I cut something wrong? Yes, they are different lengths. All so do I need to trim lengths. them to a different one point? Nope, you want them different lengths. Okay. Arrange them how they are pleasing to you. Okay. Up in that top left corner. Hello. Hello. And do you overlap them or just put them side yes. by side? Overlapping them a little. 
You know when you get that nervous feeling thinking this doesn't look right? Yep. <laughs> yeah, but it's just paper and and it could like be a it. card design. That's right. <laughs> That's the way I'm looking at it. Were they meant to go in a certain order? However you like them. Oh golly. I don't know. Yep. <laughs> I know. I'll always make another one later if you don't like this one. Yeah, exactly. and I don't like this DSP anyway, so I will be. I'm planning on using this DSP up this weekend. Yep. Yep. So if it ends in the bin, I can. No, I might just send it to an elderly aunt. <laughs> she won't know. That's what I do. <laughs> okay, clue number five. Adhere the one by four inch or two and a half by 10 centimeter cardstock foil paper across the DSP layer towards the bottom with your liquid glue or tear and tape. That's the only piece left, isn't it? Yep. Paper across the debit to the bottom. Oh, it fits beautifully. Good, you cut it right. <laughs> Good instructions. Making sure I get the DSP and the embossing the right way up. That's the bit for good um, dazzle paper, whatever it is, which I haven't used. I've opened it today. The dazzled. The dazzled. It's very thick, that one. It is, isn't it? And a bit prickly to press on. Mm. It doesn't like getting cut with a die either. Okay. No. Stamp a sentiment on a basic white scrap and cut out as desired. Mm. Okay, so that's just on scrap. Yep. Okay. Yep, that's I usually list meant. those. Yes. Okay. Um. Yeah, so this is my dirty little secret of white scrap. It just sits next to my stamping area. I've got All three my... little plastic bags full of it. <laughs> oh, no, I don't let it build up that much. <laughs> Every once in a while I go through and offload some of the strips and little bits that are just not ever going to get used. Like, I know... I've got too much like this. That's going this away. This is mine. Random little scraps. Pull out for just yeah. this. Most of my colored ones are, they have their own folder within the folder that's color. Yeah, my colored ones have that, but any that are a you know, good size to just grab a like some of them are embossed or um, had die cuts, but I've. Yeah, oh, yeah. I've got another one like of a, those. It's like a use it up little club. Yeah, I got one of just those too. This. These are just the, um, they're a heavy duty page protector. Yeah. And I have an IKEA bin that I can file them all in. So I have all my cards card stock for the the regular ones brights neutrals etc yeah and then i have another one that's all my in, in uh are you showing that on the show of um gallery is that on screen it is yeah you have to ha be able to see the gallery yep. view so they're just like a plastic pocket or is that a yeah yeah they're staples is the local stationary store for us and they yeah. have a heavy duty one so it's got that's a little great. bit of a, a lip on it that seals it and I just throw them all in there wow and then I know exactly where they are and I go and I check those before I go and cut anything yep okay 
Okay, well, I've just stamped my um, sentiment seven times and I can't <laughs> get it to stamp right, so I'm going with what it's, it is. Is it a photopolymer stamp? Um, no, it's an orange rubber. It's red rubber? Okay. Yep. Um, are you stamping it? You're stamping on white? Yeah. With which ink? Um, real red. I'll show you my miss ups. I've already put some in the bin. I always get an over stamp up the top of when I'm doing things. Ah, okay. Hey, and missing. then sometimes an under stamp. Yep, so you're getting a shadow. Oh. Yeah. The outline. Okay, so um, clean your stamp really well. When you ink up, um, don't press so hard on your pad. Mm -hmm. We call it a tap, tap, tap. So that you're ju really just kissing the, the surface, the raised surface of the rubber onto the surface of your pad. And then when you go to stamp, go, I'm gonna show you this one's, this one's clear, but it's the same thing. So you're just gonna go down, hold, and you say, Michelle is beautiful. Michelle is beautiful. <laughs> Michelle is beautiful. And you lift straight up. Because what happens is if you've got ink on that edge and you go down uh, and then you I'm rolling. rock it like that. I do. Yeah, don't rock. Straight down. Straight, straight up. up. And just sort of what Thank I you. do is I, I, I just picture that ink soaking into the paper as I hold it there. And then I lift it up. Because if you, yeah, if you rock it, any ink you've got on that edge, you're yeah. going to catch that edge on the paper. That's why you're yeah. getting that. It's actually funny. I am um, only choosing, I seem to be only choosing photopolymer now because I prefer using it than the rubbers because you can't really see what you're doing. Yeah, Do you there's, pro there's pros and cons of both. Oh, I love so. Okay. Okay. So we ready to move on? Yep. Number seven, create a mat for your sentiment with the cardstock scrap. Adhere them both together with adhesive. So we need a big shot. Uh, uh, if, if, if you're working with dyes, you do. If you're going to hand cut it, you need your snips. If you're using a punch, you can use a punch. You can use a paper trimmer, however you want to create your map. I must have read your mind. I've started doing that already. Oh, yeah.
Create a set mat for the sentiment layer. Okay, clue number eight, add your sentiment layers on the bottom right side over the strip of cardstock or foil with dimensionals, if you like. I always make dimensionals. <laughs> Okay. Time to get creative. If your card needs an image, die cuts, punch leaves, etc., add them now. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. An image, die cuts. Are we having fun? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. 
got very, very quiet. So people are concentrating. And like now it's modification time. Yeah. I don't know if mine's going to turn out like it's supposed to, but. Yeah, my art. There is no supposed to. Well, how yours looks then. Yeah. (laughs) No, it almost certainly won't turn out how mine looks. I don't even know what stamp set you're using. That's right. Was that in the steps? No. No, no. No, it's a mystery. It's yeah, that's, pick, yeah. that's what makes it a mystery is you pick your own stuff. Everyone makes something different because of the choices they make. Sometimes it's how they interpret the directions. Oh, wow, girls. I've just come to the end of my stick and tear thing. How good's that? Tear and tape. Yeah, now I can only use snail. I love it. <laughs> I've been waiting for this day. I bought in bulk and I should never have done that. Don't you like the tear and tape? Um, no, not really, I, no. It has I prefer the Tombow. I found some Tombow snail um, at Spotlight. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Tombow, Tombow made Stampin' Up! Snail and... They make the um, the seal plus seal oh, and seal plus go. as well. This is like you know the ones that are kind of um, like they've been embossed, like they're not completely solid. Yeah, yeah, it's like that. I'm but I miss her. Sorry. I'm like a five-year-old with an unsupervisory blood wrap if I use those snail things. <laughs> I used to use snail all the time, but I found I, I found my cards would fall apart after a month or two. And I so I transferred over to the liquid glue and I haven't looked back. Yeah, that's where I'm going. I love liquid glue. Um, or I use tear and tape. Sometimes I use seal plus for things, but... Um, the one thing I do miss is um, I used to buy at the big box craft stores in the U.S. Um, the Tombow Snail, but it was um, the <clears throat> temporary adhesive, the removable one. And I like that to stick things together temporarily. Oh, I've, I've got an old, if anyone remembers back a long time before, before I discovered Stampin' Up, the um, Dotty or Dotto, whatever it yep, is. Yeah, yeah. I've still got a few of those I use for temporarily yep. hearing things. Good morning, Heidi. <laughs> Good morning. Hey, Heidi. <laughs> hi, Lorraine. Sorry, I'm also late. I'm just going to hang and say hi. Yeah. I didn't even have a good night last night. Oh, I'm sorry for That's most. too bad. <laughs> How are we all? Good. Okay. Yes, I brought my my friend over, Nancy Lorraine. Yes, I I've met Lorraine. Thank you. <laughs> the last clue is to add the basic white layer inside your card, and then give a shout when you're ready to show off your creation. You're just finishing off number one, or you're number two. On... Oh you're wow! Really like, super fun. <laughs> well. <laughs> We're an hour and 10 minutes into it. Wow. Yeah, if you've got a newbie, you're like me. And when you say scrap, is that um, Kylie's 10 and a half by, I have to get no, my color. Scrap is just whatever you've got laying around that fits what you're trying to stamp. Oh, you ain't even measuring. <laughs> nah, I'm not measuring. I've got, you've got to love the, oh, I'm not on camera. I just love my bag of these and I just go grab out what it is and it's going to be that one. (laughs) 14.4 by 10 for me. Okay. (laughs) Yeah, scrap is just something that fits what you're trying to do. It doesn't have to be a set measured piece. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Cheryl. Hi. How are you feeling? Oh, my hand is actually hurting today. 
And mm-hmm. I noticed under my my um, bandage this morning that it looks like it might be bruised. Probably hmm. common, Heidi. Is it okay? <laughs> yeah, not a concern. It's just that you know you bled. Yeah, I know. They give you exercises to do? Yeah. And they hurt. Yeah. That's how you know they're working. (laughs) Remember, no pain, no gain. True, true. And you'll be back crafting in no time. Well, the thing is, I have been crafting. But um, yesterday, I I was driving, but I don't think that was it. I don't know what was it. She had a really good day yesterday. Who did? You did. Well, yesterday the day before. I'm losing day my before, days. Day before, day before was a very good day, yes. <laughs> okay. I met up with, um, uh, we have another Zoom group, and um, we met. Uh, I met up with a, a lady from Canberra. That was so cool. She was here on holidays on the Gold Coast. And, um, yeah, we met up. That was so fun. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it was nice. Uh, at least the rain stopped, thank goodness. I heard it's been cold in Melbourne, eh? Yes. yes. Well, it's always cold. It's from yeah, I was going to say, there's no news there. We went from well, 9 o'clock to 11.5 or 11.4 yesterday. It was a crack. Oh, yeah. Wednesday morning I had to go out and not just give it a little tap but actually whack the water, the ice on the bird bars that were frozen. So no. Oh, that's yeah. terrible. And we regularly get minus one, minus two. Uh, so you. So yeah. Where am I? Yeah. Near Whittlesea. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we're about 200 metres above sea level, so it's a bit cooler here. Yeah. What you we got down to minus four felt like minus six. You could go ice <laughs> on the footy field. Well, I won't, I won't complain that it was six here this morning. Then <laughs> I know I, I complain once it gets below 10, so don't worry. <laughs> I, I complain when it gets below 21. <laughs> My dad, I was, too. I was in Darwin a month ago, well, and overnight. It was 23 degrees and they're walking around with their jumpers complaining it was cold and where they're going, this isn't Yeah, I cold. know, right? Yeah. I My know, dad. 23, I start to sweat at 23. Yeah, me yeah. too. No. My it, has dad. To be, it has to be about 40. Sorry, Heidi. That's yeah. all right. That's okay. Yeah. My dad, um, he was okay with temperature. I mean, he did prefer um, warmer to cold, but he was okay. Um but then he got sick in 2009, and ever since then, um, whenever it turns 20 degrees or 21 degrees, he has to put the a jumper on and the heater on in the house if it drops below 20 degrees. Oh, oh my god! No. <laughs> I go in the I go in the other room, and the way they've put the heater on in the house because. It was facing, it was a little bit away from the wall and that meant it got to where he was sitting. Whereas yeah. now, because they put it right against the wall, it hit, it come, it comes around, it, uh, around in a U-turn, or sort of, it's supposed to go in a U-turn, but it comes down the hallway first. So where I am down the hallway, it's really hot compared to where he's sitting and I'm going, oh, my God, it's so hot. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm glad our new house where we're moving is um, where he's sitting, where he'll get the heat directly, so he won't there have to have hot. Yeah. <clears throat> Anybody ready to show off? Yeah, I yet. am. Uh, okay, so that was Lorraine. Yep. Oh, that's pretty. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I can see the spotlight. Oh, there we wow. Go. Nice. Oh, oh, my nice. goodness. That's the X celebration paper. That's beautiful. Fun. I still have heaps of that stuff. Yeah, that me is too. beautiful. That's why I, thought, I decided to use that's, it. So it's got lots of bling. So and beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. 
Anybody else ready? Yeah, I'm ready, Andy. I'm sorry. Allison. Allison. Oh, I didn't mean to not say hi to you, Allison. Hello, Allison. <laughs> oh, I like that too. Oh, that is pretty. I need to buy that set. I really like it. So that's got the green backing. Oh, no, that's lovely. Gorgeous yeah. grape. Can you see yeah. that? That's and, really uh, pretty. That's good. Yeah, yeah, I really cozy. like it. See, yeah. now they should have got Allison. The beehive. They should have got your bloody what's her name, Nancy, instead of the one they actually had. What? For the splendid thoughts. Your design, Nancy, instead oh, of I don't the know. Thing they had. Oh god. Okay. Amanda, did you say you were ready? Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh look at Amanda's. Hers you is the got the same paper. Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. Papers. But it's two lovely. very different cards. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, very nice. That's yeah, I like pretty this one. Look at that. I couldn't find my hive, otherwise, mine would have been embossed with hive too. I forgot <laughs> to get a, a folder out, and I thought, oh my god, what's going to look good on that paper? And I just grabbed whatever I could find. <laughs> well, I, I some, That's uh, pretty. Time worn pipe, and then realized I had to make sure it all went the right way. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, Amanda, That's what's that stamp set on the bottom right of that? Uh, it's this. It's all splendid thoughts. It's the sentiment is from that too. Oh wow! It's, so you've just like triple like layered and layered and layered. No, I've just cut it out. I've stamped it and then you know matted it. Wow! Yeah, yeah, look, yeah I've just literally just stamped it yep. and fussy cut it and then yeah. stuck it on and fussy cut it. Well, Not what very. Do you think wow. to one of those little trinkets on. Yeah. Uh, only because they were still sitting on my desk. I thought, oh, I'll put one of them on. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, I've got to stop ready? saving those things. Mine's not as good as everybody else's. Oh, I've God. used a really old oh, daisy one. Yeah, no, that's fine. fine. And that's that really oh, old. That's pretty. Um, that's the DSP pretty. from that old catalogue, yeah. which yeah, I yeah. never used. So, And then I even did the inside, Kylie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I always do the yeah. inside. That's yeah, great. I don't. That's a new thing. Yeah. Very good, Michelle. I think it yeah. finishes it. I do the envelope as well. Oh, okay. Because I think right. then it finishes it, makes it look, yeah. you know. Do the envelope, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I haven't yeah. done mine today. I am too <laughs> lazy to do the envelope. Cheryl, no, are you ready? do the envelope. Give me one second. Oops. Oh, yeah, yep. no rush. No, no, that was all right. That was just the um, trimmer. All right. Cheryl, it's funny. Oh, we have that, that lady who I was talking about who, we, who I met up. I always say in our little group, I always say, now you've got to do the insides. There's no naked insides. So <laughs> she made a card for a friend and she said, Heidi, look, you'll be proud. I did the inside. And, I, and she said, look, and I even did the envelope. I said, there yes. There you go. <laughs> okay, Cheryl, let's see. Oh, oh no. wow. That's pretty. Oh. How pretty is, that? is that bloom where you planted? No, that's the same yep. thing. That thing. looks like a wedding card. It's so yeah. pretty, that Cheryl. Splendid thoughts. splendid thoughts. It's all splendid That's thoughts. gorgeous. I, I, I make... think we all used those instructions of all foil and then gone and used the splendid yeah. thoughts bundle. But that's yeah. beautiful. That, that, that is I'm gorgeous. Doing, I'm doing splendid thoughts in my blog this next week. So I thought, right, I'll get a, get ahead of it. Yeah, yeah well done. Okay, yeah, so you're all going to post your photos in Nancy's blog. Yeah, I'm going to have that up there. Yes. I'm ready to do mine now. Yes. There's mine. Oh, look at yours. Oh, yeah, I went back and did retired. I love that paper. Ocean waves, yeah. I'm trying yeah. to use it up. It so, wasn't around for very long. It's very disappointing. Yes, I agree. And the Eden Eden's Garden papers, they weren't around for long either. No, they don't like it when they don't have them for a long time. I'll tell why, you, as, why a do they do that? as a demonstrator, mm. I often don't don't buy those things that are only going to be available outside of the catalogs. Yeah. And I don't promote them <clears> because, <throat> yeah, but this was just they so pretty. I buy them because they're cute. <laughs> so. so is that the little... That stamp around your sentiment. What do you reckon it is? Is it waves? Is it whale tails? I was watching a lady do a card. I decided they from were the waves. they were waves. Okay, it's from the waves. Yeah, yeah it's from the waves, and I decided it was waves for mine. And I yeah. I trimmed them a little bit. Well, this one's 
whole, this one was longer and I trimmed it off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I would absolutely love it if you guys did post yes, please your do. creations. So I'll leave that here so you can take a screenshot if you need it. It'll be. I don't know how to screenshot on my Mac. Um, just go control. Oh, okay. Mac. Control what? No, that's on a PC. I'm, um, on I'm a PC, I just go um, print screen. You should have a button on the top know. right. Print screen. On, on your computer, does it have a little button that says print screen? No. No, no words. You're on numbers. A, F you're on a 1 to 12. Macintosh? It's you're a Mac. Mac? MacBook Air. Yeah. It's, um, yeah. Hang on, yeah, Nancy's going to go gonna tell you. Because <laughs> she has one. Uh, yeah. If you do shift command four, you can take a um photo. You, you exactly. can shift command four. Yeah, but you have to put your come up with a little thing in the corner of the screen and you have to pull it down like you're doing a um you know how you in Word you're moving it down to select what you're taking. Yeah, it's yeah. actually command option. I think it's yeah. probably gonna be quicker for me to actually write it down. <laughs> You know what I do? I take a photo on my phone of the computer or, screen. Yes. Yeah. Um, girls, I bought this tool and I don't know how to get this bit here to go all the way. In. Oops, hold on one second. Let me spotlight you so we can see what you're talking about. Oh, um, this little tool it comes with a whole lot of other little bits and bobs. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. yes, yes. So, so what do you need to know? And I don't know how to get this bit to screw in. It's stuck. It's, it's about as far as it goes. Oh, okay. Well, actually, no, mine goes, and mine goes further. So if you screw it tighter, it'll squeeze more of the green stuff yeah. out? Yeah, and I accidentally squeezed it all out doing that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 So just it a little bit at a time. Buy a new tip. Well, you yeah. probably had two come in there. Oh, right. I've, I've, I've got all the green out of that one too. Okay. Oh no! Yeah, oh, you can just it. kind of you can push it back down. Let me pull up my. Yeah, that's how it stays. Mine's um, dry. I've just pulled it off. That's okay. I'll buy. I think. I guess you can buy those bits again. Yeah. Yes. So what I do is I just push it down on there, and I use it until it's completely dried up, and then I just pull it off, and I advance yeah. just a tiny bit yeah, more. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then for this end. It was, did you have questions about this end or you're good? Um, which no, was that the end, the, the flat end? Yeah. Oh, the pinky, the pincher. Yep. Yep. I used the, the flat end to lift off um, larger yeah, sequins. But yeah. I watched someone the other day um, put the pointy one through the dimensional and went, wow, that's an excellent idea. Yeah. It's also good yeah. for pulling the backing off your tear and tape. Yes. Ah. Yep. Or adhesive yes. sheet. Yeah. Yep. I, I use the sticky oh. bit to pull the yeah. diamantes and stuff off. Yeah. yeah, I use the pointy okay. one for the embellishments as well. I, I use this it. end. Yeah, I use the sticky bit like Nancy. So you can just and stick I, it. And I just, and I push instead of pulling up, I yeah. push and it sticks on there. Yeah. Yeah, I can't use that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm loving so that. Thank you. Okay, and then if you want to go back and watch, like Michelle, for your first card. Yeah. This is this is my um, YouTube channel. Oh, cool. Okay, I'll and subscribe. There's a, there's a play. Yeah. Uh, thank you. And then there's a playlist for all the mystery stamping. Oh, cool. And yes. The, and there's a um, a playlist Sorry, with girls, all my I've got to Facebook go. My daughter's at the door. Okay. Thanks thank for you so much, Nancy. Bye. 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 I need to run off too. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much, everybody. Bye. See you next month. Bye, Amanda. Bye. Bye, Bye Nancy. Thank you, Nancy. Apologies. Yes. Bye. I'm trying to. I found you on Facebook, but I think I have to become your Facebook friend or something or other in order to post anything. For the Nancy's Nifty Notes? Oh, is yeah. that me? No. Lorraine's talking. Did so you? To... So for Nancy's Nifty Notemakers, I think you have to ask to join the second one. Yeah. I didn't find that part. Let me just see. So I've got two. I've got a page for my business, which is Nancy's Nifty Notes. And then yep. I've got a, a basically a VIP group. 
at Nancy's yes, and I've just you... asked to sign up. I'll sign it in now. Okay. So if I have any requests when I get off the live, I'll go. And Nancy, you work with your YouTube. Oh, there you are. Channel. Okay. This afternoon. Okay. Cool. Because I like to you go know, back. All I'm finding is like your photos, and I can't find your actual page. Weird. Oh, let me see if I can find it and send you the link. Oh, I'm glad you joined in, um, Lorraine, even without me. <laughs> <laughs> me too. John. Okay, I think I'm going to end it here, unless anyone has any more questions. Okay, yeah. I've just requested to join, I think. Great. Oh, cool. Okay, Michelle, you all Notes good? the public group with 100. I'll try and find it all later. Notes. All good. Okay. Thanks, everyone. So, bye, um, Michelle. Bye, Nancy. At Nancy, bye. Nifty bye, Notes Nancy. If you have email questions. Yep. Okay. Thanks, okay. everybody. Bye. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye, everyone. I'll see.